Good morning guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, a quick flip through today of the um, May pages of my um, daily journal. Uh, I've embellished them, added a couple of them, um, just a couple of ideas really that perhaps you might use, you might like to use in your uh, journals. Um, so yes, I started it already. Um, I must apologise because um, this is, yeah, we're in May now. So we've done, that was April. These were my April pages. These were my March pages. Um, and I've had a bit of a mare this month. Something came up early in the month that hijacked my whole month, to be fair, needed attention. And so sadly, I haven't been able to do much as much as I had hoped in my craft room. So um, I hope that I'll be able to get back to normal now. So anyway. Yes, so starting off with this beautiful picture from the, you know, the, uh, what's the word? It was a, a, a book on uh, tea time, tea time book of art, uh, tea and coffee themed artworks. So I really loved this. I love this um, image that, and so that was just popped onto the back of the, uh, the, the signature there. And then I have popped in, um, I've glued in the monthly overview, Daphne's diary monthly overview uh, in the corner there. Uh, underneath that flips out so I know where to find it. This is a ladybird book and wild, uh, British wildflowers that I found in my stash and it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. In fact, I might reuse this for the front of a journal, but I don't know. So I've gone through, um, so this was my, uh, just the f first few days. Oh yes, I wanted to say, um, I've actually, what I experimented with was using pages from an old diary I, I picked this up for about 50p in one local charity shops. They are so, you know, people I don't know, maybe don't use so many. We have uh, uh, dictionaries and we have paper um, thesauruses as well. But uh, they they really are quite popular in the charity shops. And so I took um, uh, some pages out and um, basically uh, printed, just uh, printed some lovely um, printables I had from my in my Etsy store from a while ago um, amongst my purchases. It went back quite a while and I printed them onto the dictionary page. I think I set it to A5, like the A5 printout uh, page size. And um, I've got a few that I've um, popped in all the way through. So um, gone through and as you can see, I've used selected different selections of pages. I've started journaling already. Um, covered it, just covering up some of my, so that was the second, I think this was a third, just some personal journaling there, that was the fourth, was it? Fifth, personal journaling. So this is from the flowers, the um, beautiful book, uh, book on flowers. Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. Anyway, so that's from, from that, you know, floral art. Beautiful, beautiful. And these are pages that you can't choose, can you? You can't choose which side, so it's nice to be able to use them as a whole. Um, yes, this was just some uh, something from one of my um, oh vintage ephemera boxes that I found in my stash, and this was a piece of fabric that I have, as you know, um, a little bit left from that coffee themed from my coffee themed journals, and made a little. It's made a little um, flip up kind of a notebook pop some personal journaling underneath um, some personal journaling underneath this one and then we get to is it today's yes yeah so this is today so we've got daily text in there word of the day this is the ninth right here we go okay so this i think was where was it from oh this is from the travel journal you know that little travel journal that i had travel um that had all the beautiful images um and i've kind of just popped it in there i loved it i love the colors and i teamed it with something from uh, daphne's diary i think it's from daphne's diary magazine you know you get the different um projects to do i can't remember if this was an envelope or whatever and i, I had this sticker that says number 10 so i've done it for the 10th here but i love the blues and the yellows together I really do love that. Really love that. Popped my um uh, daily text in there, the daily scripture beforehand. Daphne's diary page. Daphne's diary page. That's a poem, and that's from that little book we have of embroidery. 
little embroidery ideas, you know. Um, I actually made that into a pocket. I made it into a pocket and then I think I pulled things out um, to use. I think this was in there initially. This is from Daphne's diary, um, the to-do and shopping list page. Um, and I just love, I think it's gorgeous, the, uh, the colours. This was from the little book on indoor gardens from my friend Becky. Loved the colours. And that was from uh, the month of May, I think. And just popped a little label for my stash on the top there. And this was from the, um, that's the, the music sheet from this. Tuneful Tunes for Two. And I think I'd probably pick that up in, oh, my charity shop a little while ago. That's the other side of that pocket. Just love that, isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely adorable, absolutely adorable. Pop the daily text on the side there. And this was from, this is one of the dictionary pages that I printed out. And this in my stash was a, um, I think it's called Yellow in the Garden, from Mrs. Cogs Crafts um, printables uh, that I've, I've had for years, actually. They're lovely for the spring. I thought that looked gorgeous. Uh, I've stuck it onto this little frame here. It was from a Daphne's diary page. Um, you know, I think it was a recipe page, you know, and you have the recipe cards that you can pull out, you can press out. And that was just the um, the outline that was left. I just really like that. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And reordered some of my numbers. Found my uh, metallic number stickers. I think they're gorgeous. This is from a book that I've had, again, for years, and I've used in different projects. Um, and it's a book on gardens um, in... New York, I think, in America, this lady, she does, uh, but the illustrations are fabulous. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's just a random page I found in my stash, and I popped it in there. I like the, the bees on the side there, and it, I thought it looked really nice with the um, printable. That's me in the garden as well, from Mrs. Cog's Crafts. I uh, loved it on the, uh, the dictionary page. Uh, this was, I was going to do something with this, wasn't I? Uh, so this was just using up um, some old acrylic paint that gone, had gone all gloopy and uh, it was just worth popping in. It was just worth popping in, to be fair. Um, I haven't done anything else on it yet. I might do, I might do. And this was from Daphne's Diary. This is a poster. You get the posters, don't you? I missed the last one, you know, the last... Sainsbury's have had Daphne's Diary in the last two or three months and um, I th couldn't find it this month. I was a few days late whether or not they just had a few and they didn't um they sold out or whether they stopped doing it i don't know let me know guys if you're uk and you found them one in yours this one i think was it yellow in the diary or yellow in the garden uh, i also printed out um mrs cos cross um she does monet she had a uh a, a monet set of printables and i think that might have been from that or from the garden not really quite not sure this was from the um, a postcard that my daughter and I picked up at the Ashmolean Museum in February, and the the Color Revolution, um, the Color Revolution um, exhibition they had. This is one of the beautiful um, little printables. A lad offering some f um, strawberries, um, and this is the other side of the music uh, the music cover. You know the tunes for two, and these ladies were from my stash. I think they look really nice, just with the greens there. That's the other side of that Daphne's Diary shopping page. I quite like half pages. I love the variety. I love lots to look at. Um, that's just my style. Um, I know it's not for everybody, but I do love the way that you can got a bit of a feature there and, a, and it draws your eye across. And then you've got somewhere to write as well. This was a little pocket um, and I just stuck it down actually in the end with this beautiful uh, little sticker for my stash. I love the way that picked up the um, the blossom colour on the, uh, the, da the diary page, Daphne's Diary magazine page. And this, again, it was the other side of the Daphne's Diary page. And this, I, I, I pulled some of these out of my little butterfly book and um, I haven't used... I haven't put it in. I might put, actually, yeah, I'm trying to do a little a little addition to some a little journal for uh, an assembly day I've got this weekend. A few more pages that I want to just add. I might actually add that to it. Anyway, 
Um, again, so I've popped my um, daily text in all the way through. I love this. Love, love, love. That's the other side of that. Um, uh, vintage music, sheet music page thing. Love it. Love, love, love. Isn't she delightful? Isn't she delightful? I love this. Absolutely love this um, image. And I just popped... This is from the Beatrix Potter set of postcards, believe it or not. A bit random. Um, but yeah, my friend gave me this. My friend Tina, she gave me the, uh, these. Um, and I thought this was lovely. I love the way the colours... I just love, yeah, some colours. And I shall flip it up. I can flip it up. Oh, no, no, no. A little bit of old washi. You know what it's like when you keep your washi for ages? You know it's like, and you should, you know you should have used it a long time ago. Well, that's where we are with this. And I'm trying to make it work. I'm trying to make it work. Oh, this is a Monet. And um, this is from the Monet collection on Mrs. Cog's Crafts. And I love the way it looks on this dictionary uh, page. And I don't really mind the... Um, because of the, the the shape of the vase and everything, I really like the way the lettering is uh, vertical rather than horizontal. I think it adds to it. So I've popped that there. I can do a little bit of journaling underneath. And, um, yeah, I love that. This is again from the Monet. This is the Iris in the Artist Garden at Giverny. Or Giverny? I think it was Giverny. But I love that. And that was like... Um, you know, uh, quite a few just different uh, little images of the, the paintings. And I just love how it sort of mirrors some of the colours here. And this lovely lady. Another part of the Monet. We could actually make little um, journaling cards. Um, could really play with that, couldn't you? This, remember, is from my vintage home book. Look at vintage fabrics, vintage wallpapers. I think it's that, that one. I just, I really adore it. I so adore. I so adore these. Um, and this is just from a little book. A little uh, floral book. And I love putting the colours together. It brings me so much joy. So much joy. To turn over and then just have. So we get to 28th of May. 29th. This is from my... Oh, what's he, he's called? The, um, my postcard, box of postcards of the, de uh, yeah, David Gentleman. David Gentleman, I think it's called. And he does these sort of pen and ink um, sketches from around London. And uh, I've had this in my stash for ages. Um, we did a, yeah, I'll show you one. We did a, a home ed project dressing, um, altering some traveller's notebooks and um, I pulled this out um, yeah we had these traveller's notebooks and we altered them ourselves I think that oh yeah anyway so um, that was that it was from then I had it in my stash since then and we get to 31st of May and um there we have it. So that that will be my May pages. I may add, um, I may tip up some things in actually because I still want to add some song lyrics, uh, original song lyrics from every uh, monthly uh, that come up and different notes. So I still may add and add them, tip them in. And then I'm thinking, I am thinking that I will use this one as June. I usually do a completely new journal for the summer. But I think this is a completely, yeah, I've got a complete signature here. I can do this for June. And then I've got an eye on a very thin, smaller journal um, that I will share a little uh, in a few days. In my, I'm going to do a what's on my desk um, video um, that I had hoped to do at the beginning of the month. And I had hoped to have um, journals to sell. For the first of may but it wasn't to be it wasn't to be this month and we just have to move on let me deal with stuff and move on so that's it guys um i will be back um as i say in a few days with uh, what's on my desk with uh projects um other journal covers 
for uh, for the eclectic collection that I've popped together. Haven't had a chance to work on, but hopefully in the next few weeks. And the smaller journals, I've got a few uh, journal covers that I've got, got prepared, and we'll have ready for the Etsy store uh, quite soon. So uh, nice to see you guys, and we um, yeah. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you found this a bit of fun and uh, see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.